I'm meteorologist Jason Lindsay with a quick severe weather update. A tornado warning is now active. Let's get straight to the power of the radar network and I'll zoom in and show you where this tornado is active. The tornado warning is right now. This warning includes these communities. Again, the time right now is 405 here on a Sunday. I'm zooming in super close here to show you some of the communities this could be impacting right now. Clementsville would be next. Right now it's right along Highway 76 moving off to the north east. It'll be impacting Liberty after that if the strength of the storm continues like it is right now. Let me give you the details on this specific tornado warning. It is for Adair and Casey counties. Again, for Adair and Casey counties is where this tornado warning is active right now until 345. Uh, the tornado warning, this would be central time, by the way, 345. Um, that would be about 445 eastern time, by the way. When it comes to this uh, tornado warning, here are the details on it. Again, it's for those counties specifically, central Casey County and central Kentucky, northeastern Adair County and south central Kentucky until about 445. At about 401, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located eight miles southeast of Campbellsville, moving to the east at about 35 mm -hmm. miles per hour. I do want to put a track on this so that you know where it could be impacting folks here within the next few minutes or beyond. Let's clear off this map. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more for you so that we can get all the information that we need to make sure you and the family are safe from the storm. Again, this is a tornado warning for Adair and Casey counties. This specific storm was moving off to the northeast uh, at about 35 miles per hour, and these storms have had just that history of doing that, moving off to the northeast at about 35 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and clear everything off of there and track this storm as it moves off in that direction, potentially with a tornado. In addition to that, we have some wild wind of up to 60 miles per hour and some large hail with this storm. We'll put it right where the bullseye is right now, moving off to the northeast at about 35 miles per hour. I'm expecting it in these communities right about here by 310 around the Casey Creek area. Again, 416 at Clementsville. Liberty right around 430, 442 in the Middlesburg area and 455 in the Waynesburg area. So we're eventually getting in the Wayne County there when it comes to Waynesburg. This storm here has had a potential tornado with it as it's moving off to the northeast at about 35 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and kind of get rid of everything here on this specific storm. And I want to look inside of the storm to see what we are looking at when it comes to the potential of the severe weather with this cluster of showers and storms that continue to move on off to the north and east. So we're magnifying an area, taking off the radar. We've got green and red on the map. Red is going away from the radar. Green is going toward. And what is that? The wind. And where we see this green and red, typically that means there's some rotation there in the storm with the tornado. There has not been a spotter to spot this, but radar indicated the science we have, the technology the Doppler radars indicating that if there was a tornado here south and east of Campbellsville, you'll notice the green showing up there and the red specifically with that cluster. It's moving off to the north and east. Doesn't mean there's a tornado on the ground. There's a new sweep with a new update and it still looks like there's some rotation within this storm. What we're looking at is velocities. Again, the red stop going away from the radar, the wind, green go going toward the radar where we see them this close together is potentially where there might be a tornado. We'll keep tracking this. Again, this is a tornado warning. This specific storm not only has had a history of producing damaging wind and maybe even some large hail with it, but also the potential of creating that tornado. We just looked at where it could have been and it continues to move off to the northeast at 35 miles per hour. It's an active tornado warning for Adair and Casey counties. This tornado warning continues into 445. The time right now is 409. In addition to that, there is still an active severe thunderstorm warning for Casey and Lincoln counties until about 415. And in addition to that, here's another warning to bring to your attention. Adair and Taylor counties, a severe thunderstorm warning until 430. We'll be here to make sure you and the family are safe from the storm throughout the evening. Now you're up to date on the latest as we track active weather here on a Sunday evening. Keep safe, friends.
you are in the city of Liberty. So go ahead right now while you have the time and get to your storm shelter before it is begins to be too late. And then eventually getting over into here more just to the north there of Princeton around 4.30. So the storm is moving pretty quickly. National Weather Service said that it is moving at 60 mile an hour here at the moment. So it's not wasting any time. Still focusing on portions there of northern Adair County under that gun for right now. And again, it is on a path to eventually get over there to portions of Casey County. This does run until 4.45 p.m. So we have another 35 minutes on this. And really, to it's right on top of Clementsville right now at 4.11. So Clementsville, hopefully you are already in your tornado warning shelter. Also, aside from the rotation and the possible tornado with this, this has up to possibly golf ball size hail. So you need to be in your storm shelter for multiple reasons. You don't need to be anywhere outside or near windows because of the rotation, but also because of that golf ball. That'll give you some serious damage if it begins to fall on your head and winds even outside of that rotation upwards of 70 miles an hour. So I'm gonna step off here and check our National Weather Service chat to see what we're dealing with, see if we have any updates. If you guys get any damage there into that area, make sure that you are allowing to send those in safely, of course. We want you to do that safely. But if you have any damage reports, if you have any power outages from any of these areas that the storm are impacting, make sure and you send them our way when it is safely. So let's go ahead and try to look at a different view of this rotation. You can see right there, again, this is very weak rotation. It's, it's not strong. So um, this is likely not produced. I don't want to speak for the storm itself. But as of right now, I don't think this would be producing a tornado. The velocity here, it really on the Adair and Casey County lines here where we are dealing with that circulation. Again, it is very weak in nature, but it is still there. I think what we are likely, really without a doubt, National Weather Service agrees with me as well here in the chat, that hail upwards of an inch and a half in diameter. So that is just over golf ball size hail and winds. That could be upwards of 70 miles an hour. So the National Weather said that a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located eight miles to the southeast of Campbellsville and is moving east at 55 miles an hour. So just under that 60 mile an hour time frame. As of right now, this is the only tornado warning that we are dealing with in our immediate coverage area, but it is not the only severe thunderstorm that we are dealing with. We see Adair and Taylor County is also under that severe thunderstorm warning until 3.30, and then Clinton County just outside of our coverage area there to the southwest of Monticello is also into a severe thunderstorm warning as well. Now, the severe thunderstorm warning for Lincoln and portions of Casey County, that has been since allowed to expire and or trim back rather and now it affects deeper off into Lincoln County now. So again, this cluster of storms is where we are watching. You can see the pink and purple shaded areas. That is where we are likely dealing with some, uh, you know, decent size hill right now. So you know, of course you want to be into your shelter because of the potential tornado that we are dealing with. But also, these are producing some potentially good-sized large hail as well. That's not something that we normally deal with here in Kentucky, but this time the ingredients are right for some larger-than-normal hail. So, again, you can see that the severe thunderstorm warning for portions of Adair and western Casey County has been allowed to expire, but they are still running with this severe thunderstorm warning for portions of Casey and Lincoln County, again, which is, has a considerable tag on it. But right now, we are focusing on this tornado warning. Runs for, it's in northern Adair County and it's affecting portions of central Casey County, which again, does include the city of Liberty there. So if you are watching in Liberty, if you have family or friends that's in the Liberty area of Casey County, make sure that you send them a text, send them a quick phone call, make sure that they know of the situation that's going on. Hopefully their phones and weather alerts are going off and they have a way to receive watch or warnings. Just make sure that they 
they are in a safe place to be. Now, we're also uh, just noticing, watching some of these cells here to the south of this one. So getting into portions of Columbia here, Lake Cumberland region, those are starting to pulse up as well. You can see the pinks and purples in there as well. So those um, wouldn't be surprised if they turn severe at some point as well, especially with the large hail component at that. And just here the last few minutes, they have dropped that severe thunderstorm warning, that considerable severe thunderstorm warning there for portions of Casey and Lincoln County. So now, let me ex uh, zoom out on radar one more time to confirm, but I think that the only warning we are dealing with in our immediate coverage area is that tornado warning in Adair and Casey counties and there we go. Just they let that expire early and just check in velocity. They good reason why. Let's check velocity one more time and you can see that it's it's still there mainly to the south of Liberty. So I think this is um, really for that southern storm. So the southern storm may try to take some energy away from the one that is heading for Liberty. But folks in to Liberty, as of now, again, that tornado warning has been allowed to expire. And right now, the one that has really the most concentration of rotation is this one to in portions of southern Casey County, getting over there into extreme western Pulaski County. So since we do not have any more active warnings at the moment, we will go ahead and get you back to programming. But of course, if any more tornado warnings are issued, we will break in and let you know as soon as possible. And of course, you can keep up to date online as well on our Facebook and our website, WTVQ.com. But for now, I'm meteorologist Jordan Smith. We'll send it back to regular scheduled programming.